Good morning, everyone. So my name is Jarkko Sairan, and I have the honor of welcoming you all to this 11th annual breakfast event that we have been hosting as Pöyry here in London. Uh, I guess many of you have been also attending these breakfast meetings earlier, so is there anybody who is here for the first time? Ah, we have a couple of newcomers, so welcome also for all of you, and you will soon learn how it goes. So sorry for the minor delay in our schedule, but we aim to close sharp so that you can then hurry to your next um, events as well. Um, we have been having sort of rotating topics during these breakfast sessions where we, you know, give you some food, but obviously the important is also then the food for thought uh, that you will be able to take with. And this year we chose the theme to be packaging. And uh, why packaging? We think that it's actually one of those exciting areas today, uh, also in the businesses, in the sectors that we are serving. So there was apparently some glass packaging just falling down, as we heard. And so, so very dynamic and a uh, lot of sort of business happening in there. As we know, it's quite stable market from the growth perspective. If you have to get a number here, let's say 2%, and obviously some variation, but and also stability of cash flows that we see in many of the pockets of the business, which is making it interesting for the corporates uh, to be active, as well as then obviously for a lot of you who are here in role of uh, investors. I think we have a lot of the underlying trends uh, that are also supporting the continued growth of packaging. Uh, naturally, a lot of that is used in somehow in connection with food, and we all know the size of the households uh, developing to be smaller and smaller, and also the lifestyle sort of supporting an increased consumption of, of small portions and therefore the increase in packaging. We have the e-commerce that certainly will be changing a lot and a lot more things also going forward, so changing the dynamics. But then we have also something that is extremely interesting, what we have seen, and this is this, call it competition or battle or war also between the different materials that we can be using. And, uh, you know, we can simply talk about the fiber-based packaging, but also then about the non-fiber-based packaging. And for us as Pöyry, who is a traditional forest industry company, as you all have learned to know us, this has been a quite a sort of interesting journey for us because today we are doing a lot of work what comes also to non-fiber-based packaging. So that has also pushed us to new areas, and I think very important for all of you also to understand and learn more about that dynamics, uh, what is happening there. We have a lot of future opportunities what comes to different bio-based materials in addition to the traditional fiber, bioplastics, also in the future more biodegradable products and different barrier materials that we can be developing to serve new functionalities. So this is really a space where we have seen, I think, only tip of the iceberg of the innovations that we will be seeing going forward. And uh, obviously, this is an area where also the dear friend regulator, who we see impacting a lot the other sector, we focus on at Peru Energy, may be sort of bringing their spoon into the soup. Uh, so we obviously see new demands for the recycling, for the materials taking place, and there is certainly also some challenges, so not everything only good. Here in Europe, we have seen a lot of sort of paper companies, traditional paper companies, converting their equipment to packaging. Also, a lot of investments happening in areas like China. And there is a lot of pockets today that in the traditional packaging, I think, face huge issues with overcapacity. So it's not only sort of easy and safe, right? But there is also a lot of challenges that we face here. That's why my final thing also why this packaging is interesting and dynamic is that if you look at the number of transactions and just sort of pulling the number of the past five years in Europe, what has happened in the pulp and paper versus what has happened in the packaging. So in the pulp and paper, there has been 56 transactions done for the value of 24 billion euros. While in packaging, the number is 178 transactions for a value of close to 60 billion euros. So we see a lot of this activity also if we look from the sort of the transaction perspective, M&A perspective, really focusing on packaging due to these underlying reasons. So I once more welcome you warmly, enjoy first your breakfast and 
in about 20 minutes, we will then start with Jari Latvanen sharing his views, and, uh, and uh, then we have the rest of the small uh, presentations happening. So welcome and enjoy your breakfast. <laughs>